Hi fellow marketers, my name is Alex and you're watching the Sandbox channel, where we strive to deliver valuable marketing tips in a bite-sized format. Today, I'd like to discuss drip campaigns, an absolute goldmine for email marketers. They have the power to save a bunch of time and resources, drive excellent conversions and revenue, and improve your customers' loyalty even while you're sleeping. But how do you make them this effective? Stick around to find out. So, drip campaigns. They are often mistaken for triggers, as they both can be launched as a response to a user's actions. The main difference is that triggers consist of just one email, while drip campaigns are a series of emails that get automatically sent at predefined intervals. They are pretty easy to create and maintain, yet they still drive increased click-through rates and higher revenue. I mean, the first time it might take a bit of time and effort to make them, but once it's out of the way, they just keep nurturing your leads and converting them into loyal customers even while you're doing nothing. But only if done right, of course. Now, let's go ahead and explore some of the best practices for creating effective drip campaigns. The first one on my list is to maintain consistent presence, but avoid overwhelming. Here's the deal. While you definitely want to stay on top of your audience's minds, sending too many campaigns too often will tarnish your sender's reputation and deliverability. When email service algorithms inevitably figure out that the most of your subscribers don't care about your emails, they will start flagging more and more of them as spam. Not to mention your subscribers' frustration. Forcing your brand onto your audience is not a way to keep them engaged. At the same time, if you don't put yourself out there enough, your subscribers may totally forget about you. Not an ideal scenario either. So to increase your drip campaign's effectiveness, you will need to strike an intricate balance with the time gaps between your emails. And this right timing will heavily depend on your type of business. It might be three days, a week, or even two weeks. It's all about trial and error here. Now the next tip on my list is to create a logical automation flow. Now what do I mean by logical? Your drip campaign should align the various stages of your subscribers' buyer journeys. See, if they have only found out about your brand 10 minutes ago because you offered them a free lead magnet, you probably shouldn't jump onto your sales pitch right away. Depending on your type of business, you might want to introduce your brand first, tell your story, review your advantages, and share relevant and engaging content, like the country does here, for example. After gently moving your audience down your sales funnel, you can start incorporating your pricing, discounts, special deals, and flash sales. The next one is fundamental. Always provide value to your audience. Content is king, we all know that. So to build and retain trust with your audience, you must consistently deliver high quality and informative content. Mixing and matching different formats to keep it engaging is always a good idea. You can include videos, case studies, checklists, ebooks, infographics, webinars, and guides to educate your audience and convince them that your brand is what they need to solve their problems. Also, it's all about content personalization. Drip campaigns are not synonymous with mass emails for a reason. They don't have to be generic, nor should they be. You can share relevant content with the right people by gathering user data and segmenting your audience. It might include grouping your audience based on demographics, browsing behavior, or purchase history to deliver highly targeted content, which will not only improve your user's sentiment towards your brand, but also increase conversions and revenue. In fact, 91% of consumers are more likely to shop with brands that can recognize and provide relevant recommendations, so try to keep it personal. And last but certainly not least, make the most out of your subject lines. Statistics show that people tend to receive more than 100 emails daily. Therefore, it's easier for a campaign to drown in those busy inboxes unless something makes it stand out. Now here's a quick rundown of tricks you can use to grab your subscribers' attention. Keep it short, yet informative, avoid exceeding the 30-50 character limit. Spark curiosity, leverage form or sense of urgency, personalize, address pain points, clearly communicate your email's value, and ask questions. Now, I can't possibly go into detail on all of those subject line tricks, so I highly recommend you save this video for later. Now let's put these effective drip campaign tips into action. SendPulse's Automation 360 makes creating compelling drip campaigns easier than ever all while saving you precious time and resources. With our intuitive drag-and-drop builder and a bunch of stunning pre-made templates, you can effortlessly create engaging email campaigns to build trust with your subscribers and guide them through sales funnel. Take your email marketing to the next level by keeping up with your campaign's performance, 
and making data-driven decisions. Assign triggers to your customers' actions to automatically deliver the right message at the perfect time. Gives and Pulses Automation 360 a try to streamline your lead nurturing and skyrocket your conversion rates. And that concludes today's video. Thank you for tuning in. I could share many more drip campaign tips with you, so please let me know in the comments if you'd like to see the part 2. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to hit that notification bell to never miss another upload. See you in the next video. Happy automating!